Hey everyone, this video, this haul is a little different because it's really broken up into two parts. The first part is a Nordstrom haul and it focuses on one pair of jeans and then a couple of tops that I wanna show you how you can get a lot of wear out of that one pair of jeans. And then I recently got a few things in from Chico's that I really, really am excited about and so I wanted to share those at the very end. End. So if you're interested in hearing more about those things, of course, I'm going to start talking about it in a second, but I also have everything listed down in the description box and numbered pinned to the top of the comments. And then I will number everything up there. So let's get started. So let's start with the Nordstrom haul. I have heard from a lot of you that as much as you love my Walmart and my Amazon and my budget friendly stuff, you have a great appreciation for premium denim. So I'm here to help you with that. I picked up one pair of jeans. I initially went in store and again, I'm just sharing my experiences. This isn't to throw shade on Nordstrom. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know that I am a Nordy girl through and through, but the in-store shopping experience has just, it's tanked. It's tanked, but I did not plan my videos well and I went in store to grab some things for this video and the in-store selection was not great. My favorite pair of premium denim jeans for years has been the AG Ex-Boyfriend Slim Straight Jeans. And I wanted to go get a new pair for this year and they had nothing in my size, not one pair. And I could have ordered something else, but I thought, you know what? This is a sign, maybe I should try a different style. And maybe the Slim Straight will be in the anniversary sale and I'll grab them then. So I picked up the AG Farah boot crop and I love these. I love these because it's a 27 inch inseam and on taller people, it's meant to be, I'm sure more of a crop, but on my five foot four frame, it's the perfect length. I can wear them with flats. You're gonna see them mostly in flats, a bit of a kitten heel, even with heeled, I'm thinking into the summertime with you know block heel sandals and so forth. So I find that these are a really versatile length for me. I can wear them with all the shoe styles. It's not hard to figure out because it's a little bit of, not a full on boot cut, but it's a little bit of a flare at the bottom. So if you've struggled with how do I pair shoes with slightly cropped jeans, this silhouette is fantastic. So like I said, 27 inch inseam, it's 98% cotton with 2% elastin, so a little bit of stretch as well. I got them in the wash called La Brea. What I love about AG jeans is once you figure out what size you are, the sizing tends to run pretty consistently and they're always going on sale. Did I buy mine on sale? No, I did not. That's the story on the jeans. Now let's talk about the tops. Let's start with a sweater and we'll work our way up to more lightweight clothing at the end of the Nordstrom haul. So the first is this Free People Collar Stripe sweater. And if it looks familiar, it should, because I have shared this one earlier. This isn't officially part of the haul I did this month but it looks like they brought it back. It's restocked. I saw it in the store and it's a great spring sweater because of the colors. The other reason it should look familiar is because while I do have this exact version, this Free People sweater in sort of a beige light tan color, I have gone on to find it on Amazon in a look for less sort of situation. And generally I prefer the Amazon version. However, when I initially saw this, and I still feel the same way, I've not been able to find a budget-friendly version of this particular color combo, and I love it. It's unique, it's why I'm willing to pay more money for it, because I don't see anything like that on Amazon or other more budget-friendly retailers. The thing about free people, it's not for everyone for a variety of reasons, I get that. I have a few things from them that I really, really love. It tends to run either extremely oversized and cropped at the same time, and that's what I wanna tell you about this one. I am normally an extra small in Free People and I bought it in a small because it's technically a cropped sweater and I was worried that in the extra small length it would be too cropped on me. It's a little bit more oversized in general because I got my regular size and it does dip down a little bit lower in the front if you're not comfortable with that layer a tank underneath it, but it's so soft, it's so pretty and did I buy those pink moccasin driving shoes specifically to match the sweater? I can neither confirm nor deny that. This next 
sweater. It's not a sweater. This next top I'm really excited about because if you're like me and you live somewhere that gets warm really quickly. So when they're showing all the fun sweaters layered over things, you think that's great, but I can't wear that in the spring. I will have heat stroke. This is the sweater for you. So this is from Halogen, which is an in-house brand. It's a mixed media sweater. So the body is a very lightweight knit sweater material. It's a faux wrap. And then the sleeves are chiffon and the tail that's sticking out the back is chiffon. So it looks like it's a wool vest layered over a chiffon top, but it's not. So this is something if you are in a warmer weather climate, you can wear this into spring because it's really lightweight. I do want to note the sizing here. This is the small. Halogen generally runs a little bit bigger. I really should have gotten this in an extra small. I really wanted this sweater and I really didn't care. But now that I brought it home, I did keep the tags on. A lot of you are always asking me, Marnie, do you keep everything or do you return it? Mostly I'm really picky about what I buy. So once it comes home, it stays. But in this case, I'm not returning it. I'm going to exchange it. I really want this in an extra small. I think this is going to be a great piece for springtime. And just for sizing reference, I, like I said, I'm five foot four. I'm, you know, pretty petite frame, but I do have a 34 D or 32 double D depending on who's measuring chest. And so I thought the small was more necessary just to have room. But the reality is it's a really forgiving fit. It's a little more of a boxy fit. So I'm going to go down to the extra small. As we move into spring, one of my favorite pieces to wear is a button front top. That's a little lightweight. Maybe it's a little bit of a tensile blend or polyester rayon blend that's breezy and it's what is this? You know, it's draping. And so my favorite rail shirt is back in stock. This at first glance looks just like a basic, more relaxed fit, white button front shirt. But if you look closely, it's like a window check plaid tone on tone. It's all white. And the thing with rails is I find it runs quite narrow. So I am pretty much consistently a size medium across the board. It's usually narrow in the shoulders and it's narrow in the chest. And I do like a little more room. I know that rails hunter shirts or any rails pieces are also a splurge item, but these hold up year after year. I'm not even particularly precious with them. I throw them in the washing machine. I throw them in the dryer. I know you're not supposed to. They're great for travel. They're great for layering. They're just really well made and they're a classic piece. The colors aren't going to go out of style. I love Love this white on white one. I have them in all kinds of plaids. I have a similar one in like a jungle cat print you've seen before. I just keep adding to my collection. Every year when they have the anniversary sale, there's something from Rails in this style. I always add it to my cart. Love this one for spring too. Now this shirt I did haul this month and a lot of you have been asking me, especially as we're moving into rodeo season. Well, if you want a recommendation for a really good denim like or chambray looking button front top, this one is fantastic. And I will tell you why it's from the brand Castlon, which is another one of their house brands at Nordstrom. It's a little more of a budget friendly price point. This particular shirt is a hundred percent tensile. So it gives you the look of denim without that stiff bulky feel. So it's really wearable. You can wear it long over leggings because it's a really light fluid material. It's easily tucked in. You could wear it open over a tank. It's just a really versatile piece. It could double even as a lightweight jacket. Although I found a really good one. We'll talk about in a minute. Castlon runs big. I always size down. Well, not always. I generally <laughs> size down. This one has already an oversized fit sort of built in. So I'm wearing mine in an extra small. I have another Castlon top for you. This is their Dolman sleeve top. I have it in the Navy and white stripe. It also comes in a really light blue and white stripe. It's a polyester rayon blend. So again, it feels like a viscose or a tensile feel. It's really, really soft. It's almost like an uber lightweight French Terry. It's that kind of soft, really lightweight feeling. I think think obviously that it looks great with jeans, but it's going to look great with my tensile joggers. It's going to look great with linen pants. As we move into the warmer months, it'll look cute with some shorts tucked in. You can wear it untucked. It's a really flattering fit. I will say the one benefit of going in the store is while I was trying my pieces on, there was another woman across the hall in the dressing rooms who was also trying on the same shirt. I think she was maybe a size large. And so I got to see it on a different body type. And this is a universally pretty universally flattering shirt. And it's it's so it's so comfortable. I want to go back and change into it. We're looking at all these tops of the same pair of jeans. So you're getting your money's worth out of those jeans. It's from Madewell and it's a side cinch muscle tee. That's actually what I have on right here. I like that it's not a white. It's sort of an off white 
kind of like beige. It also comes in lavender and black. And I just love the alternative to a basic white tee. And I generally prefer more of a V-neck, but I like having options in my closet. So I like that this one is more of a basic crew neck. I like how the shoulders kind of stand out a little bit. It emphasizes more of an hourglass shape. If you are built, by the way, more straight up and down and don't have much of a waist, having something that has some shoulder detail up here will give the illusion of a more narrow waist and balance out the hips. Just a little style tip there. I have had Madewell tees in various styles for years. They hold up really well. Now let's talk about this jacket. I am super excited about everything that I picked up in my haul. I'm obviously very excited about the jeans, but if I had to pick one piece that I'm really, really excited about, it's this jacket. If you've been around for a while, you know I am a sucker for an olive green utility jacket, and I just haven't been seeing good ones anywhere for the last few years. They've either been the shirt jacket option, which I don't love as a jacket, or they are really stiff and heavy, or they're cropped, or they're boxy. I mean, there's just, I have in my head, well, this is, if I could design one, it would have been this. So first of all, this is 100% tensile, so it's that soft, fluey, drapey fabric. This is Caslon, and I told you I generally size down to an extra small in most things. In this, I stuck with the small because I wanna be able to have room if I wanna wear this over a lightweight sweater, or just give me a little more versatility. And because it does have a drawstring, I can adjust for width if I need to. So it's a really versatile piece. The tensile fabric is incredible. The color is beautiful. I love the cuffs. You can wear them snapped or unsnap them and roll them up, but I don't feel the need to roll these up like I have. And I think it's because of this lightweight material. Functional pockets, it has buttons and an actual zip. And that was the other thing. While I'm wearing this as an extension of my outfit, if I get cold, I wanna be able to zip it up. And I do prefer a zip over buttons or snaps. So this one ticked all the buttons, even though this has no buttons, it just has snaps. I adore this. I think it's already on sale, so you might wanna snatch it up. And now moving on to Chico's, and I'm telling you, if I didn't tell you that these pieces were from Chico's, you would never know. I know in our heads, we think Chico's is a certain style, and sure, they have that kind of clothing there. I saw that kind of clothing at Nordstrom too, but they have these pieces, which I feel are much more on trend, and they're just, beautiful. So I have two outfits that I want to share with you. The foundation of both of these when I was putting these together is I want a really basic foundation and then I want to be able to throw a jacket over it and get a totally different look and then also be able to wear each jacket with a bunch of things. So the first outfit, the base of it, it's all beige. And I know there's this thing going on on Instagram and TikTok. They're calling, instead of being basic, now we're beige moms and I guess I'm a beige mom. A beige mom is someone who loves neutrals. I, I like neutrals. I'll, I'll add more colors we get into the warmer months. This is definitely the beige mom outfit. I used to think that you couldn't wear white with beige or cream, that, that clash. Now I actually prefer it. I love sort of the different tones. They're in the same general color family. So starting with the ribbed tank, it is the most easy to wear tank because it has a slight race, racer back sort of armhole to it, but not so much that you have to wear a racer back bra. So I just appreciate when you don't need a special bra to wear with the top. It has ribbing all the way around it. So it has a nice, really subtle texture. I love these jeans. Talk about beige. These jeans are the high-waisted wide leg pin tuck jeans, and I'm wearing them in the regular length. It says on the website they come in petite. I did not see a petite option. If you have better eyes than me, let me know. I love this color. Like I said, I'm five foot four. I generally prefer the petite length at Chico's, but but I wore these with heels and I do like wearing heels too. So this works great. I love the seam. I, they're jeans. They are comfortable. They're really lightweight denim, but they look a little more dressed up because of the color, the silhouette, and that seam down the middle. The belt, by the way, is also happens to be from Chico's and it's the reversible one that I shared, I think back in December maybe. And the other side is gold. You're really going to get a lot out of that belt. But let's talk about this jacket. Like I said, I'm a sucker for olive green. I think one of the pieces that Chico's makes that is just the standout for them is their tweed jacket cardigans. So it looks like it's a blazer, looks like a tweed fabric, but it's a lot more lightweight. So it actually feels like Amazon arrived. It feels more like a cardigan, lightweight cardigan sweater, I would say. So I love that. Functional pockets. This is double breasted. I like how it hangs open, but you can also wear it closed and it's still very comfortable. And I would wear this in place of this, just like as a spring jacket. But if you're in a more conservative work environment, this is gonna work great with black slacks, 
any kind of blouse, you can really get a lot of wear out of this one. And then the second Chico's outfit, it's still, as far as I'm concerned, basic and neutral when you look at the foundation. It's those same jeans that I just shared with you, but they're in the regular denim without the seaming. And this is the petite length, if you are curious. And I'm just wearing little kitten heels with them. If you wondered what the length looks like on the same person, there you go. I can wear them both. I like having options. So denim in and of itself is a neutral option. The fabric on this, if you're familiar with their trouser jeans, same kind of fabric. So really soft, really lightweight. I really think that a navy and white striped shirt of any kind is a basic and a neutral and something we're seeing all over in all kinds of tees, blouses, silhouettes for spring. So I think this is another great option, a great basic. I like that it's a square neck. It's a little bit different than other things we've been seeing. And I also like that while I'm gonna wear it now layered under something because it's still a little chilly, I can pull this out in the summer as well. And then the jacket that I wanna share with you, this is a Ponte jacket. It's a little bit of a cropped shape. It fits so beautifully. It's lightly lined on the inside. The buttons are stunning. Usually I do not like buttoning up my jackets. I don't like how it lays. I have a larger chest. I feel like it's just all chest sticking out. But this one, because of the cropped silhouette, hangs really nicely. So I think it's gonna look great with all my jeans, whether they're the regular denim color or they're a lighter weight color. It's gonna look great if I need to dress up a pair of actual dress pants or trousers. If you're in a work environment, this is another great piece. You can leave hanging on the back of your chair and if it gets cold, you can throw it. It's just a really nice, versatile, really, really well-made piece. I do wanna note, while I appreciate if you're gonna use my links to shop right now, thank you. But Chico's and Nordstrom are always having sales as well. And so if you wanna be alerted about any sales stuff, do please follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link down in the description box and I'll have it up there for you to click on. So if you'd prefer to save these items for a future sale, I totally get that. And I will keep you posted when that happens. Well, thank you for going on a virtual shopping trip with me. I hope that you had fun. Let me know, are you a premium denim girl? Do you prefer more budget-friendly options? I would just love to know, like what are the retailers and the price points that you prefer to shop at? Do you like a splurge occasionally, all the time, more budget? I can identify with all of them. So I just wanna create content that we both enjoy. So please keep me posted down in the comments what your preferences are. Thanks for hanging out, hope you had fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.